What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak 9.3.3 on all the 64 bit devices. So that means it's from the iPhone 5S up to the iPod 6th gen and the iPad 2 all the way up to iPad Pro. So this is done with Pango tool right here. So I have my iPhone 6S right here running on 9.3.3 right there. And we're gonna jailbreak it real easy using this. I already jailbroken my iPhone 5S already just to make a test run. You can see right there. That's Cydia. Open it up. All that goodness. So we're gonna basically you could just click on this. After it, the link to get this is in the description. After you click on it. You should get the other tool. You just want to hit yes. And basically, it's going to give me a new one. And I'm going to click right here. And just let it run all the way up to 100. And this is a semi tether jailbreak, meaning every time I reboot my phone, or I turn off my phone I'll have to tap on PP which is right here right next to the city app right there we have to tap on that and run it again and your phone will start working like not really stop working but all the jailbreak tweaks and all that stuff that have, you have downloaded from city app will basically stop working after you reboot your phone turn it off and all that and to get them to work again you're gonna have to run the PP app again and then everything should be working again so I'll show you I already jailbroken on my iPhone 5s which is the lowest device okay after that's done run it up to 100 you want to tap on that and this should be a pop-up on the screen okay everything is in Chinese but just tap on the green button should be another pop-up tap on that one and it's gonna run the only thing with this jailbreak it takes a while this first version right here takes a while so just be patient just make sure your device is plugged in and it's running so let it run you can see the wheel right here just spinning just let it do its thing it's gonna ask you for your Apple ID to sign in that's how it verifies everything is on the hundred so yeah you just it's gonna ask you for your Apple ID so get your email and your password ready for when it prompts you to do that you just type it in and then hit next and it will continue and then your phone will be jailbroken so there it is right there it's asking me for my Apple ID after you enter your ID your Apple ID it just continue to spin as you can see right there as I said again guys just be, just be patient it's been a long time we've been waiting for a jailbreak and I just made a video like a day ago or maybe two days ago when I was talking about it saying if they have the jailbreak for iOS 9.3 they should just release it don't wait for iOS 10 because who knows what's gonna happen in the final build of iOS 10 if that exploit would have been wasted and all that stuff so yeah they released the jailbreak this morning so everything is good and also guys you want to put your phone on airplane mode put your phone on airplane mode there you go see that we just got the PP app pop up on my phone and you got a smiley face on the computer so basically we're gonna be done with the computer for now but put your phone on airplane mode and you could also turn off the passcode lock so let's tap on that it won't open because we have to manually sign it in we gotta to go to settings general device management tap on that then we're going to tap right there again hit trust now as you can see we're going to hit OK then we're going to tap in the circle right there after we do that we just want to close our device just close it and as you can see right there we're just going to leave it it's going to reboot automatically and then after it's done rebooting you should have Cydia should have C should see something like that. Cydia on your device. So there we go. It's rebooting. 
and as I said this is a semi tether jailbreak so maybe in the future we might get updates through Cydia that will make it a full on tether jailbreak but for now it's a semi tether jailbreak so slide to unlock boom and there's Cydia right there tap on it to open it up and there you go fully jailbroken guys you can see 9.3.3 iPhone 8.1 I'm at 8.1 and yeah that thing that's real cool guys that's real real cool and if you if your phone dies so I'm gonna turn off my iPhone 5 right here just to demonstrate the whole untethered process so there it is all your, all, all your tweaks your sources and you guys, if you guys want to add a source, I'm going to show you guys how to add a source. We want to go to source, edit, add, and we're going to add my favorite source, which is repo dot insanely i dot com. Repo dot insanely i dot com. Here it is right there. You want to add that source? Add anyway. And if you get any updates, definitely update, confirm, return to city, and everything is right here. You could basically do whatever you want to do. As you can see, now my phone, the iPhone 5S. Is not is not working properly. Every time I tap on Cydia, it crashes. So basically, you just do that. And just let your phone reboot. After it reboots, CDS should be working again. You can see right there. So that's the whole point with the tethered and untethered jailbreak. Untethered, you wouldn't have to do that, but with a tethered jailbreak, every time you reboot, you have to do that process. And yeah, there you go, guys. I also have this app right here. I don't even know what that's for, but it is what it is. That's probably a Chinese app store, whatever. But that's how you do it. All the whole the whole process, rebooting after it's the CD has stopped working. And yeah, both of my devices are no jailbroken. It's Princeton ATP 101. Rate, comment, definitely subscribe. And yeah, guys. Yeah, hit that like button. <laughs> Peace. Thanks for watching.